I don't know about you, but once in a while I need to extract just few elements from my AFC models to do something with them. If you encounter this situation sometimes, then you might be interested to watch this video until the end. IFC OpenShell is a very powerful library and it has a lot of different patches that can help you to do a specific thing. One of these things is called extract elements. And to do that, we have to go to IFC patch. This tool inside IFC OpenShell is called IFC patch, which works with different recipes. These recipes are exactly the things that are doing a specific exact thing. And this one in this case is called extract elements. But before I extract elements, let me add a few more beams and columns right here. Let's take uh, this uh, column and let's add uh, this one. There we go. And now let's add also a beam. There we go. So we have this, right? Now, like I said, we have to go here in quality and coordination tab. If you don't know how to get here, you have two options. You look at this menu right here and you either click on these two people right here or you go on this tab right here. You click on what you're going to see right here in the project overview. You click here and you will see this tab right here, quality and coordination. There are these two ways you can get here. Then you go to patch. If you don't see this expanded, you have to click here and you will see it. And from this, you go and click on extract elements. You can also search, I think. So yeah, if you click there on that magnifier and you type in extract, you will see here extract elements. Now, I want to use this model. I'm not using an external one. You can use an external model. So if that's the case, you can click here and uh, import your or choose the path to your model. But that's a bit more difficult unless you don't have a specific query, like in this case, uh, get all the IFC walls, for example. I'll show you two things in this case, how to use an IFC class here, an, I an IFC entity, and how to do something else, how to use the global ID. So in my case, I will choose load from memory, which in a Blender Beam language means that it will use the model that I have opened right now. And mainly is this, uh, this model right here. And let me save this one because I want to save it with all these uh, beams and slabs. So after uh, doing that, now I have to choose where do I want to save this patch? Where do I want to save my new IFC model, which is going to include only the elements that I specify. So I'll go again here to my famous download folder and I'll name it. Let's say I'll have here only columns dot IFC. It's important to specify IFC as well. Otherwise it will not work. And in my case, I want, like I said, to say, uh, to take all the columns. So let's use just IFC column and I will click IFC, execute IFC patch. We get this message right here at the bottom extract elements patch executed successfully that means that is done right so now let me keep the um, uh, blender beam open and now let me go back and uh, close this model in solibri and open the one that i just extracted let's go to downloads and we see this one right here columns right we see i just created it right now the same time it's not from before this is a structure. It's not so important. Yeah. So we can see, of course, it worked. Uh, it took all the all the columns in my case, right? But uh, how useful is this? I don't know. Maybe sometimes it's useful. You want to take only the slabs or something like that. So yeah, depends on you. Depends on your use case. If, on the other hand, you have some specific objects that you want to pick up, let's say that you want to grab a beam and this one, and they are exactly specific uh, objects, then oh i see something else i have to take this and this and put it in the same story and now let's save this here like i said i'll pick this one and this one right how do we do that now i want to use in this case i cannot use if i type in here ifc slab uh, ifc column and ifc beam it will take everything right so i have to use something unique and that's the global id which is unique identifier for each object uh, and yeah if we go here 
we will see this, but we will not be able to see the global ID for each of them, right? So how do we pick that up is by going to grouping and filtering and then add a search group. And then we go by, by global ID and add a filter. And now after we selected this, we click on this eyedropper right here and we got these global IDs here. And then we click here. We want to select everything and I will do that by command A or whatever you are using in your case, control A to select everything and then command C or uh, control C. And then I go back. You need to click and then go back to our tab. And in this case, in my query is this, right? And now I want to save this in a new IFC file or IFC model. So let's call this column, column and beam. And I'll click save. And now I will click execute IFC patch. Operation successful. So let's go back here. Let's close this model. We will not save it. And we are opening this one. And it's a column and a beam. And there we go. The objects that we have selected have been extracted exactly where we wanted. For some trickery, right? If you like this, of course, keep watching because I have so much more valuable content.